An email I recently received said, I was sitting in a lesson at church, and the teacher said that all people with tattoos are bad people. I receive way too many emails like this. Why? And no, this is not about tattoos. It's about what should be a reality, that everyone is welcome to partake of the love and blessings of Christ. It's never okay to teach hate. It's never okay to belittle and judge without even a glimmer of chance or fellowship shown. It's never okay to turn someone away. I'm tired of reading emails from people who want to get baptized but don't because they feel too different or because of how they were treated because of it. But this is how we're teaching our youth to act and behave towards any that are different. What we say, what we are teaching is literally shaping the future leaders and teachers and fellowship of the church. And we are our own stumbling block. I don't care if you're covered in tattoos. I don't care what age or race or gender you are. I don't care if you grew up and stayed in the church, if you grew up and left the church, or if you've never heard of the church until right now. Everyone is welcome and invited to partake of forgiveness. Every single person is welcome and invited to partake of salvation, of change, of real happiness, of the indescribable feeling of Christ's love, of his atonement, of his chance at a better life. So let's act that way. Let's teach that. Let's teach that the importance of the atonement is more powerful and more important than someone's past or outside appearance. Let's teach that Christ covers everything if we turn to him. We need to teach that wherever you come from, you belong here. Whatever you've been through, you belong a part of this church. Whatever mistakes you've made or sins you've committed, you are not a bad person. You are loved. God's mercy will always be extended to you. A chance to change and be forgiven is extended to all. And Christ will never look at you like a waste of time. He will pick you up and put you on his shoulders because you, whoever you are, are absolutely worth it. You are worth everything God has to offer. He exists for you to help you thrive and succeed and to become like him. So let's teach that. That's the most important thing. You are his and that is everything.